Hey, hey, hey. It's Kurt the Boat Doctor. Hey, I didn't get my other North Rivers in there the other day. I had quite a few of them, but my thing was going super fast, so I didn't think he wanted to watch that. Anyway, Big Jim here. I got a kind of, it's a boat doctor, but Big Jim's a truck. So it's nine o'clock, I got 10 minutes. Anyway, this is a 2023-220 Evolution Tournament Edition, Hughes Craft, very nice boat, 22 foot. It's got a 24 by, or 20 by 34 degree, it looks like to me, heavy keel strip down at the bottom. Very strong, good wells. Like I say, it's Hughes Crafts, it's gotta have the best wells on the market right now. They are perfect. Look at that. I mean, awesome. No stop spots, start and stop. Nice smooth beads all the way. Big large drains, that's a fish box drain right there. It's got an 11 and a 26, 11 bow, or 11 to 16 bow gallons, and you got about 26 gallons in the rear live well. Uh, you got a swing tongue, you got tra electric trailer brakes, cables, of course, they get cracked. Uh, you ne may need to replace those because then they're basically probably getting all rusted and they're broken inside. That's just down the road, just a little heads up. Two and five, 16 tins, ball top mount coupler. So you need probably from the bottom to the top, probably 23, 24 inches to make it level. Heavy duty trailer. Uh, you got two by six with slick bunks on it, diamond plate, anchor guard, spare tire, swing tongue. Uh, you got the bass, uh, bass seat up front, adjustable. Uh, it looks like it might even be nitrous filled. Uh, nice large windows, nice large exit window up to the front, dual wipers, top, sides, backdrop. And this again is a huge craft. It looks like it's all tinted windows. Uh, nice thing on this one here that you can, where that flap is, you lift it up and you unzip it instead of having to unsnap it from the boat. You got these little flanges here. This does two things, helps it keep stable a little bit, tracking, but main thing is to keep the spray down not coming up and back inside your boat uh very very nice i mean well done it's got this must have a travel cover as well i see the snaps right there led running lights uh you got your uh, poles are wrapped i mean they've really put some time into this boat and then uh let me see so boom 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 that doesn't have that on this model Okay, gear bath oil hubs, brown good, white bad. It looks like you got drum brakes. Hmm, different. Most of them are discs, but they must, they're electric. There must be a reason. But a real beefy trailer. Uh, you got uh, downrigger pads. You got these nice lift up style cleats. You got sliders for your rod holders. Uh, I put in 30 gallons uh, Supreme. Uh, you got your horse shoe here, so if you did spill, it's just going to go out the back and set it down on your paint. Uh, you got 25-inch shaft. You got a live well here. That's your pickup right there. You got your drain for this. This makes this a little bit higher. This is a wide, I'm going to say probably a good six, six and a half foot bottom on this. But look how wide this thing is. It's deep. Very, very nice. F-250 mean machine. VMAX show motor uh, got a 53 quarters by 15 stainless saltwater 2 series that's what you want to put on here uh, they just got a real nice sharp cut to them yeah you can see they're kind of right here if you feel here you can feel that lip inside there to grab the water very nice thick thin uh, keeps the vibration down uh, down or you got your uh, transducer brackets trim tabs ladder 2023 like i say this is right here hughes craft you got your swim step discharge ports anchor light and again here's those snaps so this must have the full cover gear about the oil again good they're brown that's what you want uh stainless steel prop shaft drive shaft two coats of clear two coats of primer a special paint uh got internal zincs external zinc links down there i mean Yamaha is the best saltwater protective motor you can get. Right there is just inspection caps to get to the back end. You got C-Star hydraulic steering, which is probably the best. There's your wash down pump right there. Turn that, see that's work. That there, they fill it with antifreeze for the winters. Now this cap, you want the cap on when you're not using it or turn this valve off, one of the two. Because if you're going down the water and that cap's off and that's open, you're going to have water coming in even without turning the pump on. 
then in here oh you can use this for that drains in there too you can use this for a lot of different things with the fish box i suppose storage ventilation for your battery you got your light here you can walk up here nice drain system you can see that goes right into your bilge come back here that's your large large live well here you got a light in there as well there's your screen recirculatory pump you got your drains right there this seat right here comes up like this that makes it really nice then you just pull this up that gets to your batteries one of these batteries should have been put over there they put both of them here here's your battery switch then over here is the same thing that's for storage right there this seat flips up pull this up and this is where the other batteries should go and you can use that for storage uh, right here I had to tape these batteries cables up right here uh, that is what I say that battery should be over there and then hook these cables up there's your fuel tank aluminum your live well pumps are down there take this move in here move this here and here's like rod holders that are lockable both sides and your anchor lights in there as well that goes back here lock that up so then you can pull these down so you can step on them very deep then you got to actually put toe holds these under here you can put your feet to lock your feet here so you don't fall backward removable seats here so actually you can take this backdrop off take those seats out you got a lot of room you got suspension seats i mean grab handles i mean really really nice i'm impressed grab handles there straight up sides bonus easy to clean that way glove box then you got over here is your horn build pump that works nav lights i checked they already worked accessories usb ports 12 volt got both of them wipers down is both up is the starboard side courtesy lights you got one there one there and one on the other side half live well recirculating forward that works key switch another usb and a nine millimeter ten millimeter jack right here is cl5 gauge i set that up the other day so i'll just take that off throw that right there trim tabs stereo and i'll show you that out there oh shit i mean shoot good thing i carry those no safety lanyard ha 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 but i juke them because i've got one make sure i turn the key on the batteries up oh, there it went so that works that works you got some oh bow mount you can put like let me see here oh you even got a tray there huh so you can put three three batteries easy so a 36 volt system you can throw up there easy you got the plug up front for a bow mount get one of those uh trevors or what do you want to call them and then a codas i wouldn't even get the if you want to be tricky i guess that's a nice box um you got uh, swivels sliders height adjustments and tension flip up arms backs that you can adjust this so it goes back and forth like this and then you got up in there i believe you got a live well there storage and storage heavy duty latches stainless it looks like uh, valve for your rope up there cleat shallow deck that's what you want you don't want a deep deck nice very nice i probably would have diamond plated that front though you know because you're going to be up there putting your feet up there all the time grab handles nice visibility very wide wow very very nice okay this is the boat doctor i better go get my little safety lanyards there or i ain't going to be able to go nowhere okay boat doctor out uh, oh back to this again 2023 220 uh 
tournament edition uh, evolution they call it with that oh just nice look at that motor it matches with the black i like it i'm gonna see how it does and then i can give them a, a couple thumbs up or the boat doctor's approval uh the wind's gonna kick up so that's good it's a sealed front deck uh could get rainwater though right through there i see this hole right here it could pull up a little bit or driving rain could get in uh there's no latch on that you don't really probably need it the way it's sloped back uh but now this is what i'm hoping for that wind's starting to kick up i can feel it so it's going to get what i want to see out there about two foot uh, maybe two seconds apart a little bit of wind on top and going against them to see how this thing rides and takes it but it should do good from what i'm seeing right now with a 20 by 30 uh 20 by 34 it looked like to me i could be wrong 60 gallon fuel tank 102 beam very nice boat doctor out